Hello everyone and thank you, <clears throat> excuse me, for joining me here. So, right now I'm taking a look at the Navy and I didn't realize this. But apparently, I have four emails, but I have two improved heavy carriers as well as a Dreadnought, a level 5 Dreadnought, finally. Absolutely finally. It has 73.6% reliability, which is pretty good. Speed sucks terribly, but piercing... Crap ton of heavy attack. So also this is a dreadnought class. So basically this is the equivalent of a super heavy battleship in vanilla Hoi 4 of course. Um, this is the the design. This is pretty much what it started with. I didn't really modify this too much I like how the uh, little anti-air lights up on the thing when you hover over it Cannons cannons cannons. I could have done even heavier cannons, but that would slow me way 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 down But whatever maybe not actually. I don't know whatever uh, regardless, we have two carriers and then a heavy, a super dreadnought or dreadnought whatever, and a ton of cruisers, cruisers and destroyers. Now, eventually, I will fix that up and make sure that we have a good strike force as well as a very good patrolling fleet. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to war with uh, these fellows over here. Also, I just added four more divisions or two divisions to this army, two more to this guy over here. So we're going to go to war with Colombia. Hopefully we'll do an okay job and have a great time with each other. Yeah, exactly. So our goal really is to create Grand Colombia. So they'll have cores on Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, and Ecuador. And maybe split up Peru and these Entente Enclaves eventually. Maybe a little portion of Brazil. I don't know. Maybe we'll have three portions. We'll have Northern South America owned by Colombia. We'll have Brazil and then we'll have Southern South America. Some sort of federation or something like that. Alright, so we're at war. Have we done anything about it yet? No, because I've failed to call in the allies. And there we go. Looks like we're slowly winning. They have five divisions on the border, which is fine. Uh, naval invasions are going out. And, ooh. Um, yeah. Give them a little bit of a boost. They might need some boost. As long as we can take a port, that's really what I want here. Oh, there is someone else over here. Level one, they're getting shelled, which is good. Come on, guys, you got this. Nice, we're getting attacked, and actually, since they're here, I'm going to tell them to go ahead and help out. Go attack this way. Nice, and I want you to attack this way. Kingdom of Albania has fallen? I thought they already fell earlier. Nice, and we've done a very good naval invasion. Holy cow, that was actually pretty good. You know what, actually, just since everyone's already pretty much here, just go ahead and do this. And do that. Wow. That was actually a lot easier than what we had to do for Cuba. And we're also justifying on Panam Panama, no, Venezuela at the same time. But it'll take about 100 more days. We are currently, or will be currently known as the Union of Socialist American States, which will be great, 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 very, very soon. Destroying any loyalist terrorists very soon. And let's take a quick look at Europe because I've been playing Hoi 4 way too much with my friends. So I really don't know what this world is like anymore. Apparently, the Third International is kicking some major Entente booty. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. India. India. When did you become the Dravidian Commune? When did you do... Th They're a puppet? Why wouldn't you just unite with them? Um, you know what? Probably between this episode and the next, I'm probably just going to take these guys... And just give all their territory to the Bharti Commune, first of all, to reduce lag, second of all, because it should probably really be unified anyways. But I'll do that between this episode and the next. Currently, we need some more rubber, and then probably some more chromium too. It's 1943, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year, and I'll do some resource efficiency gain. I'm talking kind of fast, even though I've not had my coffee yet. Even though I had it a couple hours ago. And I have it right in front of me. Anyways, um, yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, i just been, yeah, like I said, I've been playing a lot of Hoi 4 with my friends. Trying out Kaiserai, Vanilla, getting screwed up really hard against the Soviets, and when playing as China. You know, a lot of good fun stuff. Oh, oh, more rubber. Yes, please. Hope that'll help us out with rubber. Nice, we overran a division there. 1943, my friends. We're done with artillery. We're done with land doctrine. Armor? We really need to start focusing on armor because I really want some medium tanks. But really, by the time we get to medium tanks, 
or the 1943 version of Medium Tanks, it'll probably be close to 1945, and then we'll go straight to Modern Tanks. Great, great, great. Once we have Colombia done and taken out, we'll, we will attack Venezuela. Oh, London is in Canadian hands. Finally, they were able to do that. For a while, Canada was winning really well against the Union of Britain, but then the Union of Britain started to hold off, hold them off, but now they're basically going to capitulate. And there goes Colombia. Glorious. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And since we have 22 divisions down here already, uh, I guess you can't go through here, so that's fine. We will quickly take out the Venezuelans. And instead of this, we will do... Uh, anyone injured? I don't think we fought really any navies. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and do patrol, but go ahead and repair for now. How many? We have three dockyards to repair stuff. That's fine. How is our stockpile of supplies? We need more heavy fighters, probably. Cool. All right. Oh, we got some more heavy fighters here already. Nice. Ah, glorious, my friends. Glorious. The Union of Socialist American States. So we didn't go with Foster. We went with Browder. His economic policy. We can lead the revolution. But really, why I went down this totalist path is to create the CIA. That's really what I wanted to do. The revolution will be broadcast. Revolutionary Guard, defend the revolution. There's nothing here that will give me another research slot. But this will give me quite a few more civilian and naval dockyards. Huh. State quotas, collective farms. Research speed, per reactionaries. Well, hmm, political power and totalism sounds nice. Uh, encryption, decryption sounds nice. Stability sounds good. What about this side? Lead the revolution. Hmm. The Vanguard of America is a centrist nation, not subject to the IWW mod rule or AFL backsliding. Big for craft unions and anti-judiciary advocates understand this. Making sure our new union does not collapse into infighting, reaction will be the first agenda of our new movement. Democratic centralism. Uh, this side is nice. I think the right side is a little more interesting. But let's do economic policy first so we can get a couple more factories and dockyards. Let us try that, my friends. Let's see. Go ahead and put on quite a few more heavy fighters for the main uh, army group. As we continue to wait for Venezuela, our justification to take out Venezuela. Ooh, T120 sniper scope. Great. Uh, I guess just give me a hundred of those guys. Cool. So better land night attack followed up with M20 Super Bazooka. The Super Bazooka. Cool. The fate of Colombia we will do very soon. How many more days do we have until we can take out... Oh, look! Our, cha our flag changed. I almost said... A bad word. Anyways, um, our flag changed. You know, honestly, this flag is okay. I might have preferred the other one, honestly. But, regardless, that's what we have right now. Um, is there anything else we can really do? Mm, we're good. Pretty much on everything. Oh, there goes the Union of Britain. Now, I did say before, if the Entente will take out, if they do take out another major faction within the Third International, I will try to join the Third International. If possible. Ask to join... Oh, well, maybe not. Uh, I... I could send an attache, but there's really no point for me to. Uh, does anyone want me to join the faction? No? Okay, then. Prussian Republic is pretty strong. Leave it up to the Germans to run out of manpower, but... You know, help take out the world. This is weird. This is really weird to see. The co-prosperity sphere here. Are they fighting Arabia as well? Uh, Arabia is fighting the Third International. Okay. Well, rebuild the Pacific. Great. Destroying longest terrorists, or loyalist terrorists. How many more days before I release Colombia? It's about 60 days. That's quite a while. Fate of Colombia. And we will liberate them under friendly rule. Oh, that's kind of a nice, bright yellow. Cool. You guys go ahead when you can. How are the subs? Oh, boldness in science. Uh, for right now, actually, is everyone... You know what? Go ahead and train, because why not? Uh, and you are... There we go. 
Boldness in science. From the new bold class of scientists, our generation has produced none can match the imagination of our Oppenheimer and Paysons. Oppenheimer, the ambitious physicist with a connection to the brightest minds in the Internationale, can make the atomic weapon dream a reality. Paysons, the liberty liberated rocketry pioneer whose devotion to socialism is only matched by his devotion to advancing rocketry research. Unfortunately, we can only fund one of these due to budgetary concerns. Liberate from the Earth or liberate the atom? Well, let's take a quick look at this. We do the atom, we can probably get a bonus to nuclear bombs, but if we do liberty to rocketry, that doesn't sound like fun. I like the atom. Ooh, six more. Uh, pretty good divisions, not bad, not bad. Throw you onto here. Cool, and we're just gonna make this speed run as fast as possible. Arabia is annexed, and right now, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna pause it real quick, Mark. Mark and uncore these from the Socialist Republic of Haiti because that's really going to be the type of Caribbean Federation. And actually, I'm going to transfer David as well as Panama to Revolutionary Colombia. Really, it's going to be uh, what do you call it? Grand Colombia, Revolutionary Grand Colombia. There you go. Oh, look at this guy. Gilberto Vieira. Vieira. Interesting. Well, a little bit of manpower. Canadian armament support still. Um, Alright, but they're still totalists, so that's okay. San Jose. Very nice. Victory of the Baratia Commune. Has been split into three sides. Socialists have proven triumphant. Now rules unopposed over the region. Well, you should really be able to integrate this commune as well. But it really looks like Russia's not doing well. Ooh, the atomic chain broken. International cooperation resulting in fantastic progress on the nuclear weapon. The biggest hurdle went, came when the, when none of the southwestern states would allow such a such an importance on their land due to public knowledge of nuclear radiation. We've had to settle for an old munition site in West Virginia. The test was made, and the entire international celebrated this occasion. Yay! Yay! Nuclear bombs! We liberated the atoms from its oppressors. We have broken the chains. Absolutely. Export focus. Oh, the family code of 1943. Uh, for this, do we really... Uh, we might need to lower our trade policies, but I still want to build more things up. Hmm. I'm going to continue building more of these. All these everywhere. Oh, right. Not, not you. There you go. And then... Build a fuel silo, because I don't ever build these, but we have a lot of fuel anyways. Oh, uh, we will need a lot of this, though. A lot, 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 lot of radar. This will come in handy when we go to war with uh, the Canadians. Even though we only have level 1 right now, we'll increase that later on. Anyways, Family Code of 1943. With the Social Revolution in full swing, Congress has passed the Family Code of 1943. Armenia is gone. The Family Code is a revolutionary code that is driven by an ideological desire to wither away the capitalist model of the family to be replaced by a socialist model of the family with free unions based on mutual love and respect. Ha! Huh. Cool. Thus, to the end, the code included a number of revolutionary changes. It abolishes all impend impediments, impediments to marriage, the biggest one being the abolition of mis anti miscegenation laws. I can never say that word. Civil marriage is now the only legal type of marriage. The code establishes no grounds of divorce, with both spouses receiving equal division of the property at the time of divorce. Also abolishes the concept of illegitimacy. Now all true children are entitled to parental support and equal rights under the law. So I can claim someone else's child now. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, good. Yuck. Furthermore, in accordance with the revolutionary laws regarding the family, adoption of children that were made homeless by the revolution is subsidized. The European concept of free love is still under consideration, as well as decriminalization of home... What's the homosexual behavior? Attitudes? Something there. Not really sure what it was, but something homosexual. But anyways, we got a lot of PP. Uh, uh, political power. Uh, cool. Kansas takes up 80 political power by itself. Just so we can rebuild it. Jesus Christ, Kansas. You better be worth it. Uh, ban the I... W... Oh, weren't, there, weren't they our allies? Uh, oh, wait. So you get more construction speed... Ooh. Well, you know what? For this one, you get... Oh, you also get a construction speed. Yeah, let's do that one. Ban the IWW. This will be... This totally won't backstab us. Ooh. Browder's economic policy. Great. We have lower construction speed, lower efficiency cap, and factory output. Time for some coffee, guys. Ah, very good. Very, very good. Cool. 
I don't think there's anyone here who can lower just a five times. This is the military staff. Ministers? Uh... Daily political power. I can't do these because we're not available. Wait. Bed chat. J. Fox. Um, Bridges. Eugene Dennis. Mm, a lot of these. Yeah, I can't use any of these guys. All right. So be it. Uh, I doubt for foreign minister we can have faster just Okay. 5% faster justifying times. We lose just a tiny bit of political power. Not bad. 5% isn't great. But I might just do it just because we can move on a little bit faster. Yeah, I kind of had to do that. Let's keep looking, though. Maybe in economics we can get some help. What do we currently have? Resource and construction speed and efficiency gain. Resource gain. Production equipment. No. Uh, no, but that's good stuff. This is okay stuff. Not bad. Bessie would be okay. Oh, capital ship production goes up slightly more. Armor production, not bad. Yeah, there's really not much for justifying on people faster. That really sucks. Ooh, Min I doubt Minister of Interior would have anything like this. What is our current thing? Secret Police Chief. More encryption is always good, you know. Oh, Jack Scholl might be pretty good as well. More local factories, manpower, and resources, and more political power. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Um, Silent Lawyers, okay. I mean, these are generally all buffs. I mean, for Salaria Kia... Not too much of a buff, but some of the negatives. Yeah, I didn't think anything would be here. And finally, head of military intelligence. Decryption, da da da, dee dee dee. And no. So we, all we get is Robert Miner, who, who can help us justify a little bit faster. Next up will be Ecuador, probably for me to take out. Oh, maybe not. I had to go out with the war with the entire faction. Oh boy. Uh, for this, go ahead and research that a little bit faster. More military factories means we could have a bigger air force. Because we need more heavy fighters and more tactical bombers, but maybe a few more naval bombers actually as well. Ooh, more close air support's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Naval bombers. Let's do that. We will definitely need more of those. Tactical bombers increase that by five. Heavy fighters increase those by five as well. Nice. We're building a lot of refiners. I'm going to be flooded with um, rubber before we're done here. Uh, gotta love coffee. All right. How many more days? Uh, with a 5% reduction in justify wartime, does this affect it right now? No, it does not. But the next one should affect it by a small margin. Also, Someone said, uh, I, was, I wasn't stupid or anything, but I forgot how to spell DOS, it's just D-O-S. Yes, the next um, group that I make will be called probably Subs Trace. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Germany, despite losing the war, is doing very well in the Russian Empire. Um, Sweden is gone. Thank you, Union of Britain. Even though you can't defend your own country. I'm surprised that there has been no real push or to invade the mainland like a, some sort of D-Day yet. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of naval battles going on. Can you notice I am just shrecked Iran or Persia? Oh, nice. Now we can go to war. Finally, we got the Super Bazooka and we have the power struggle between Foster and Browder, who have long viewed each other as the enemy to the people, but just as much as a stepping block to their own power. As the revolution has come to an end, their struggles have taken on new heights. How this shall end is hard to say, though some are fearing what will happen should the other be disposed, deposed. Oh my goodness. Support companies, logistic companies. Actually, I'm going to do that next just because we will be encountering some pretty bad things down here. Um, Advanced Dreadnought A1. So this is more of an updated Dreadnought. Oh la la. Still no modules, still no anti-air. Super heavy armor. Very slow. What would happen if I switch it to this? 24. So we're currently 22. If I do this, I lose 20 armor and slightly less surface visibility. I mean, I'm going to maintain my slowness in exchange for what? Maybe a little bit more anti-air might actually help. Seeing as these things are, these heavy batteries, super heavy batteries, are extremely heavy. And they won't slow me down more. Oh god, yeah. 
But no, not that one. No. Wait, this is super heavy battery. Uh, that's not bad. Super heavy battery three. This doesn't make you any slower. I just do a heavy battery here. This will make you slightly faster, give you way less attack and piercing. So, see how this is organized? I really don't like it. So it says super heavy battery zero, two, three, one. This is very confusing. If you weren't paying attention, you might just click on you know like over here or down here or something because just you have to really pay attention to this. Nice. And then oh. Yeah, that's what we like to see. So we're going to make one of these, even though it's going to take forever, and, and we won't have this basically until the game is over. So. Nice. Ah, very good. Very, very good. Lots of dreadnoughts, super heavy dreadnoughts, some cruisers, and some destroyers. And a carrier. Nice. Oh yeah, we do want to go to war with them. They're not part of the Entente, which is great. And I'm going to immediately justify on my, our next enemy, who... Hmm. I could take out the Entente. <sighs> Let's see. Who is a member of the on? Oh my goodness. Oh, no, it's easier to do it like this. Come on. So, Third International Entente on Canada, Mashrik is capitulated, Russia is about to capitulate as well. The Kingdom of France we would have to kill off as well. Uh, that's not bad, actually. Kingdom of France, Russia, Canada. I really do not have access to, obviously, to Africa. We can change that, obviously. So, it might actually be beneficial if I just find someone like the Ivory Coast, build myself up, and attack through this area to go northward. <clears throat> or we can next focus on Buenos Aires Lima Axis. This is actually a pretty strong faction. Peru is pretty strong. Uh, Argentina would be pretty strong as well, and fighting through this area will be absolutely garbage. Uh, you guys are already moving up. I could invade here. How long would that take? If I just justify an Ivory Coast, uh, if that 5% bonus only knocks it down by 10 days. I justify on the Ivory Coast first. We attack, we invade, I build the area up as we are fighting off the South Americans. That might be for the best. I'm going to do that. We'll justify against them. And against Ecuador, we'll justify against those people. I think that would be for the best. Because since we have two wolf packs, technically, already. So then we have one in the Caribbean. We have one in the Demeria Plain. And then Cape Verde. And we don't have another one over there. God dang it. I can always split up that patrol group anyways. So, the, the first one here. I can always split this one up. Since we have two dreadnoughts now. Two dreadnoughts. Amazing. Which means one of these was just made. Was it this one? Oh, it's, it was it. Was it this one? No, that's one I was just started making. Well, either way, that's still pretty good. Improved dreadnought, Nebraska class. Let's make sure we're doing okay here. Let's keep the speed up for now. Super heavy? No, I want yeah, super heavy. Super heavy. Level one. Super heavy. Level three. So for these guys, I'm going to continue making these guys, but they're only going to be on like a level one stuff. Should I actually for this one? It's probably best we just do this. Uh, I'll keep it. Screw it. Ban the IWW. Better uh, policies, more factories, and stuff like that. And we'll have price controls next. Awesome. Uh. Hmm. Is there anything I can do for this group? I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't really, really do much with my research yet. We could probably give them better torpedo launchers and maybe a better rapid fire thingy. No, okay then. I do want to make some more cruisers though. 
Wait, this costs more? 16 light attack, 7.7 .7 light piercing. Oh my god, this is not even worth being on here. Improved cruiser. Why do I even have this? What in the world? Nice, we have a nuclear reactor, but this is garbage tier. Please tell me I didn't make all of these. Uh, for this one, we'll put on the light cruiser battery too. We'll put on aircraft improved for planes. We'll put on that, and then we won't use that. That should be. That's that still costs a little bit less than this one. And actually, I'm gonna base you in let's say Massachusetts, so I forget about you. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we do have a research slot. Pause it before I lose an extra day of research. Hmm. Well, I would love to do nuclear bombs, but I have, honestly, other things we have to get to first. So, that'd be fine. Our group seems to be doing okay for now. And actually for this, you know, I'm just going to do that. Do that, since you will be outdated very soon. And I don't want to make outdated stuff. Cool. How is Venezuela looking? Not great. I want you to make it up two here. Nice. We have time anyways. Let's see. What do we want to do next? Supplies. More chromium. Looks like we actually probably need to actually import the stuff instead of anything else. Fuel, of course, is fine. Maybe radar? Oh, yeah. I definitely built some more radar. I want to put that on all my ships. Uh... All right, we got another province here. It is taking quite a while to get to Caracas, but that's okay. Things take a while. Yeah, I definitely think that would be a good idea. Take out Ivory Coast first, and then get ready for the war with the Kingdom of France, and then push northwards that way. The Kingdom of France has what type of um, military? They have a couple of ships. That's something to be concerned of, but not a ton of military units. They're divisions, I should say. Uh, actually, at this point... Just go down the heavy tank path. Screw the mediums. Hmm, this coffee's getting cold. Ooh. Alright, war propaganda. We really don't need that. Uh, Baratia Commune? Are you acting like our timeline China? I don't think... Do you have a claim on Tibet? China does. Mongolia does. I don't... Oh, did you take... Oh, you took Tawang. Now, no, no, Tibet, you're not supposed to be doing that. This is how. We, this is why we, uh, you were taking over in our timeline. You were messing with the wrong people stuff. No, 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 no. Oh, good, Venezuela. Thank you. Thank you very much. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give you to them. And before we move on, I'm going to make sure that all these states are actually states. Cores. All that good stuff. Nice. Mark. Mark core. What else? Core state. Core. Core state. Uh, that's already a core state. And I think that's pretty much everything over there. Nice, 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 nice. Oh. Just don't liberate them just yet. So that should all be core states now. Nice. Well, we already got a good portion of revolutionary... Grand Colombia already taken care of. Uh, next up on the docket, of course, will be to invade the Ivory Coast. Hmm. How many divisions does Ivory Coast actually have? But before we figure that out, let's go ahead and just uh, put a couple guys on here. And there's only really one area we can invade first. Now I'm, I'm thinking, thinking long term here. Very long term. You guys got it. Six. I don't care how many he's going to take. Seven, eight. And then... I think eight's probably good enough. How many more days do we have until we invade the Ivory Coast? They have... They're fighting someone right now. We have like 85 days left. They actually, Wow, that's a lot of divisions. Holy cow. 
Hmm. My apologies, it's coffee takes a while to drink. That's a lot of manpower, over a third of a million? I guess they are all in all adults, sir. That's a lot of divisions. I'm definitely going to check them out between this episode and the next. As well as do something with my ships that I forgot to say, that, that I did say I was going to do, but I can't exactly remember now. Uh, it was doing something here, but that's pretty much all the time for we have to... De oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, guys, do you want an ally? I might have to join the third international soon. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to improve relations real quick just to see if they want me to join them anytime soon. And with that in mind though, the world is slowly falling apart just like the way we wanted to. And like with that in mind, I will see you tomorrow guys. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And we might just see D-Day happened. Okay, catch you later guys. See you tomorrow.